I've shown you a lot of seafood recipes in the past. This one touches the cockles of my heart because this is ultimate comfort food, not only for me, but for a lot of people who enjoy sweet water fish. This one is the queen, the ruling queen of all time. This one is Ilish or Hilsa, and I'm showing you Bhapa Ilish or Ilish Bhape. Let's begin. It is very important to get Ilish or Hilsa when it is in its season, in its absolute ultimate glory. Now, there are a lot of parameters that need to be kept in check. One is to buy this from a trusted vendor. Two is to buy this when it is of a certain size. Never buy a Ilish or a Hilsa, which is under 500 grams, because that way it is not in a way correct, because this has a lot of cultural significance attached to it. It's very important to get this recipe right. I've picked it up from my excursions in Kolkata and eating this at several friends' places in Calcutta or in Bengal. And of course, the recipe uh, is not uh, changed or is not tweaked or is not twisted. This is exactly the way my friend's mother makes it. So this is from her to you. Let's begin. I like marinating this with turmeric powder. And along with this, some salt. Now this recipe in a way would ideally start at least two hours before time because it's important and mandatory to soak the mustard seeds. Now this way you kind of ward off the bitter undertones of mustard. The moment you spot the freshest ilsa, give a call back home and say mustard began in the That's how I do it at least. Let's begin with the paste for which I'm going to use soaked mustard. To this I'm going to add in green chilies and coconut. Our paste is done and ready. Let's transfer all of this in a deeper bowl because now we have some more ingredients going in. Let's add in mustard oil, a touch of sugar to just kind of balance the flavors, turmeric powder, curd, salt as required. Let's mix all of this well till of course the curd becomes lump free. This is where all of the flavor lies. So please check for salt at this stage. With this, our marination is done ready. Let's move forward. The next step is to marinate the slices of Hilsa. Now, whether they are marinated or pre-marinated, that choice I left to you completely. The whole thing is to now roll it into this whole paste and place it in the dabba. On top of it, you can actually pour in some more of this marination or more of this paste of mustard and uh, green chilies. And finally, we cover this. But before covering, we add in two very critical and important ingredients. Let's see what they are. In these steel boxes, I'm going to transfer the pieces of marinated Ilish, also known as Hilsa. Let's add in the paste that we've made. Just divide this equally amongst both the tiffins. Time to rub the fish pieces so that the marination sticks in perfectly well. Mustard oil, just drizzle a little or generously. The choice is completely yours. some slit chilies. Allow this to now rest in the marination for a minimum of 15 minutes. Well, one last step before we move this into the steamer, we need to clean the sides of the tiffin in case you've messed it up too much. Well, in this case, because I knew this is a step, I've done it with caution. Finally, we need to create like a whole home built steamer and steam this, of course, under cover for at least 20 minutes. Now, once the steaming is done, we pick it up, of course, with the help of a cloth or with the help of tongs, and then we keep it unopened 
for another 15 minutes. Now this is again very important because that way it just gets some time to settle down in terms of flavor. Also opening of the box becomes easier because the steam otherwise will scar you. Very important. At this stage we lower the flame and carefully place this like so. Cover this with a lid and cook this on medium flame for at least 15 to 17 minutes. Finally, the tiffin box has completely settled. When I say this, the steam has kind of subsided. Let's open the box very carefully. There could also be a little bit of steam that is left in the box. So be very careful. Once this is opened, you serve this with steamed rice. Now you can take gobindo bog as a chawal variety or a rice variety. If you don't get that, of course, by all means, you can use any variety. But if you can lay your hands on gobindo bog, nothing like it. With this, one of the most stunning Hilsa recipes or Elish recipes is done and ready. Now, every home in West Bengal makes it differently. Every Bengali home across the world makes it differently. But the essence lies in the flavor of the Hilsa and of course, with the punch of mustard and the chili. When I say chili, you actually squeeze the chili, the water and the oil dripping from the chili adds a wonderful flavor. On that note, try this for your family, try this for your friends, but more importantly, Keep some pieces aside.